Snow so tip of the day. Start off telling a little story here. I'm I think I'm hydrolocked in one of my cylinders, so I need to pull the glow plugs out. Now this is an 0360, so there's a usual glow plug rail which is sitting right over there right now. The problem is once you get all everything undone, you know, take your uh, tube off here, move the glow plug harness out of the way and all that stuff. Move your transmission dipstick over off to the side if it's an auto, which I think most of them are. I don't know for sure. I work mainly on straight sixes, uh, so I'm not usually working on Fords. But um, move all that out of the way, then you'd uh, start pulling your glow plug rail off. The first two usually come out pretty easy up here. Then you go through your fender well, if there's a hole, and you kind of start pulling the other two out. I ran into a problem where this air box is in my way. So I talked to some guys on some forms to figure out how the heck I can get around removing that air box. That way I don't have to, you know I mean? Because then you'd lose all your pressure and your AC lines. They told me to go ahead, remove the inner fender. And then on your air box, it's molded and kind of stuck together. There's about an inch flap that sticks out from here to here. That's what stops that rail from coming out. So I said, just use a pair of side cutters to cut it out. Well, I found this handy dandy little tool that you can put a hacksaw blade in. That's what I used to cut that little flap out. Now, for your rail, gotta be gentle. You know, you pull up a little bit here, move this way, wiggle it, pull it up a little bit. You should be gently able to slowly pull it down and out. Now, you might have to come down here from inside the well to go climb up inside the engine bay again to get this done, but it'll happen. This was pulled out before because the clips on these first two are broken back to you are still there so i'm asking some other guys since i don't work on these don't know quite for sure if this will still work just fine which i'm thinking it will since it'll hold down and all it does is just get my hand to work here just kind of sit right on it and it just pushes on and sits there so it'll make connections still but be very gentle otherwise you're going to break your clips guys well that's my tip for the day on an 0360 Believe it or not, this has 623,000 miles on it. It's still running like a champ, which is the first I've ever heard of a 6.0 running this long. Um, I think the engine originally actually failed around 100 some thousand miles, but they had it redone. And it's been going strong ever since. And everything besides the starter and alternator are basically stock on this. So, yeah, believe it or not.